Let's talk about the ways that Microsoft Project Online makes it easy to find and assign the right and available people to your project to help you get your project done on time, on budget, and on scope. Here's a challenge. Typically assigning people to a project is tough. In fact, it can be like playing a 3D chess game. It's complex, confusing, and mastered by only a few select people. It can even be worse when you're trying to manage schedules in one system and resources in another, or in spreadsheets. Plus, you're often doing this in a living environment with things that change rapidly when you're not expecting it. There's a better way, and Microsoft Project Online gives you that. Here we have a schedule that was generated from my template. It has generic resources in it, a project manager, an analyst, and a developer. At one point, this was helpful for my long-term capacity planning, but now I'm in the PM PMO and I'm actually staffing the project up. Let's start by finding resources that can help. I'll do this by building my team from the enterprise resource pool. On the right-hand side are the generic resources that are already assigned to my project, and on the left-hand side is my entire resource pool. Let's staff the developer pro uh, resource to start with. So I'll select my developer, and I'm simply going to hit the Match button here. What Project Online has done now is it's gone out and it's found everybody who has the developer skill. But I also need to know if these people can actually do the work for me. So let's look for people who are available. I'm going to use the project start and finish dates, and I'm going to apply this. Now here are all the people who are available. However, I can see Chris Schilling and Chris Lewinsky really aren't available. They have no hours available. So let's do a little more querying, and I'm going to look for resources who are available for more than 300 hours. There we go. I have four resources now. Reno is a good person and can do the work, so I'll simply hit the replace now to replace the developer role with Reno. Okay, I'd continue doing this for all of the resources and then I'd save and publish my project to assign the new people to the project. In some cases, the resource may need approval, in which case I would add an engagement. This kicks off an approval process with the resources manager. Also of note, the resources can be people, equipment, or locations. For example, you may have specialized equipment that you need to use on a project, and it may need to be scheduled. Microsoft Project Online makes assigning resources both easy and accurate. It has powerful built-in tools that you can use to query your resource pool and find available resources to do the work. These are both easy to learn and easy to use. Finally, Project Online has additional functionality that makes managing resources easy, such as resource approvals and various ways to level resource allocations. Let's get going with your project and portfolio management system. Call us to get started.